Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Divine Mother Blessings channeling with Mother Mary, Sarada, Devi, and Gaia. And I am recording this on Mother's Day of 2024. Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. And whenever you're listening to this, happy Mother's Day every day. You are beautiful, you are worthy, and you are loved. We're going to start with Mother Mary's message from the Saints and Angels Oracle Cards. This was the first deck of cards that I received as a gift from my father. The answer to your question involves the topic of mother. Mother Mary is with you, helping you with any emotional upsets with your own mother, such as grief, anger, or worry. She can aid your healing from long-standing patterns between the two of you. As you do so, you'll also be made well in other life areas. For instance, healing mother issues improves your relationships with other women especially powerful ones and those in authority. It helps you be more open to receiving since feminine energy is receptive. If you're a woman, reconciling any mother issues can improve your self-love and self-esteem. This is also a message about you as a mother or caregiver. Mother Mary wants to help you in this life area. She'll alleviate any guilt or stress that may be interfering with the joy of parenting. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. If you'd like to help children in general, ask Mother Mary for a divine assignment. She has so much love for children that she gladly helps their caretakers so that they be they're better equipped to help these little ones in many ways. Oh, I love children. Mother Mary, thank you for that beautiful, beautiful message. So mother healing is with you, healing your inner child, healing with your child, and just finding this beautiful peace and coming back to a place of love, because no matter what, it always comes down to love, right? So with Mother Mary, we're going to get some uh, love activation, heart-centered activations for you. Um, with these beautiful cards here. So we're just going to fan them out and get some messages for you right now. Oh, well, look at that, the first one out, self-love. You realize that the love of self is necessary to love another. You can only love another as much as you love yourself, and you can only receive love from another as much as you love yourself. Self-love is the key here. individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Yes, you are unique. You are talented. You are gifted. You are full of love and light, and you leave a unique stamp of love on everything you do and with everybody that you meet. Shine that light. Past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. This can be with anyone, especially mother or mother type figures. This is healing the past. Mother Mary is helping you heal the past. Over here. Cause and effect, the law of cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Yes, because what you think, then you feel, then you send out to spirit in the ethers and it comes back and manifests physically. So your thoughts are very powerful. Learn from this, right? What are you thinking about? Focus on love, focus on abundance, focus on peace. And we always learn from our past choices, right? <laughs> oh, I love this virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Yes. Be the example. Be the light. We're just going to see what the bottom one is here to round this out. 
ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Yes, it's important to take ownership on all of your own stuff. A lot of people project out there. I've been experiencing this projection energy uh, with myself and my own situations and other people with their situations. And it's like, you know, taking ownership means that you're accepting all aspects of you, that you really do want to be in your full power. And if someone's not taking ownership, well, it's their responsibility to do so, right? And you can be the example of this. Acknowledging that we're all human, you know, we're spiritual beings living in this human world of contrast. So yeah, of course, we're going to make decisions sometimes that don't always turn out like we thought, right? And, and it's also about celebrating your accomplishments in a very humble way, but not being afraid to do so, right? Be successful. Allow yourself the success. Allow yourself to move on. Allow love in. Love really does transform everything in the most beautiful way. And everything has a lesson to it. And we can learn from everything that happens in our life. And I like the next one too. Just one more commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. And I'm going to say also be open to other people's perceptions, other people's beliefs, and question your own beliefs. Why do I believe this? Is this true for me? I, I feel like someone out there, it's time to make a commitment to yourself and really go through your belief system. We can do this together if you'd like to reach out. That's why I studied uh, Theta Healing and became a Theta Healer. But it's like just really doing an authentic look at your life from your heart space and commit to what your truth is, to the love that you feel, to the joy. Commit to that. We're going to clean up this energy and then we're going to move to messages from Sarada Devi, the Divine Mother. Beautiful divine feminine energy, Sarada Devi, the divine mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Yes. We're going to read her message from the divine feminine oracle. Sarada Devi loved all of her disciples unconditionally and equally. In her teaching, she emphasized that there is no such thing as a stranger. She encouraged her devotees to understand that everyone we meet is actually a part of us and is connected to us. And that if we want to experience true peace, we need to own the fault and judgment that we project onto others. How interesting in Mother Mary's messages and what we got there, I spoke about that, about projection. So that is something to look at, okay? We need to see our own faults and forgive them with love. Sarada Devi whispers gently to us, no one is a stranger, my child. This whole world is your own. So if something keeps showing up in the people we meet and in the relationships we are cultivating, Sarada asks us to meet them from within us, meaning the aspects of this other person that might be causing us pain or frustration or just plain aversion, these same aspects exist within us. Yes, that's what people refer to when they say everyone is a mirror to you. Um, they're mirroring something back that maybe perhaps could be looked at within your own self. Unless we are willing to really meet with these aspects within us, the universe will keep presenting them to us in our relationships. Um, who else can relate to that? And it's not to piss us off, it's to free us. It's out of a deep love for us to fully heal. The goal here is for us to love ourselves fiercely from within, without judgment or shame for where we are in the moment. The goal is to let us mother ourselves with unconditional love. That's the only love that will quiet those harsh, critical voices within us. So we can stop wasting our time mirrored in judgment of others or ourselves and get on with being the perfectly imperfect light that we are. <laughs> so a soul voice meditation for you is 
what am I currently judging or criticizing about myself? And remember, unconditional love exists within you. The presence of love is the absence of judgment and fear. Those are beautiful. So we're just going to get a little tarot here to see a little bit about the projection energy. What would you like us to know, Source, about that energy? The Ace of Wands. Okay, so it's time for a new start. A new path is opening, a gift. When you release the judgments on yourself and others, release the fears, and you focus on love, a new spark is lit within you. A new path reveals itself. Passion ignites. Creativity. It all comes from within. And when you go within and you're honest with yourself about yourself and you love everything about you, all the shadows, all the light, all of it, because it's all rich with wisdom and beauty, this new path illuminates. It's time for a new start. And it really is time to release that. And if someone's been projecting um, negative energy onto you or lower vibe energy onto you, and you know that you've been doing the work and you know that that's not where you're at, then it is just them projecting onto you. It's their own hurt. It's their own pain. It's wounds they've been carrying their whole life. It's the shame. It's the blame. It's the judgment on others. And for whatever reason, they chose to project it onto you because you are unconditional love and light. You are the source of peace. Even if this person isn't admitting that, if you're experiencing this projection or you have in the past, you're their source of peace, but it's important to set healthy boundaries too and not pe let people suck the life out of you because of it. Just send them love and wish them well in figuring out their own stuff, right? Wow. Okay, so there's a new path opening. Let's see what else. The Five of Cups. So yeah, this is about releasing um, the regrets, the wallowing energy, the, oh, why didn't this work out? Why did this happen? You've learned a lot. You can take the rich lessons from it, right? And the growth. But it's time to release. And then look at that golden cup that's just coming your way. An offer in love, feeling at peace. So it's, it's time to release this if that's what you've been going through. Or it could be the person you're thinking of, right? Releasing that. Look at this. This is gorgeous. The Ace of Wands and the Sun. This is the most positive card in the deck. It is enlightenment, healing, clarity. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, abundance. So you're being blessed by the sun right now. Source knows, source is the sun, right? Ra. Source knows that you've gone through a lot. And that you have done a really good job being authentic with yourself. And when you release these judgments and you realize everything's happening for you, there is an illuminated path opening up and it feels so good. It's so good. It's so positive. Wow. Let's see what the bottom of the deck is. Look at this. Look at the three on the bottom. Underlying energy for you right now, the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very balanced, stable offer path that's opening. Someone that's maybe taking their time, but they're steady, stable coming your way. One step at a time, you're reaching your goals. Guardian Angel is protecting this path. So there is some kind of new path and stability coming and an opportunity this night on, on his or her way, their way. And then there's a lot of strength. Yeah, you're moving into a time where you're going to feel so much more balanced, grounded, strong. And it does take a lot of strength to tame the fears to release those judgments on yourself and others, to release the anger, um, to really take charge of that. But it's like being balanced in your own inner masculine and feminine energies is important. And the divine feminine, the divine mother energy is the peace, is the unconditional love. And the masculine within you 
And the masculine that you're thinking of knows that. Because to me, there's a lot of masculine energy in here with the ace of wands and that action and that passion and that desire and the sun, you know, just wow, just such a good positive energy that this knight of pentacles, the strength of the lion. And then look at this, the king of cups. See, it's all about the love. Look at that giant golden cup. Okay, I'm just going to show you this. So love is being restored in your life. Look at the golden cup that's coming the way when you release the regrets and the, the past and just know that everything's happening for you. Focus on moving forward in the energy of the sun and, and you have a lot of strength behind you to do this. Look at that golden cup and look at this giant golden cup that this king of cups has. An incredible offer that's just going to make your heart sing with joy. Love coming in and offer in love when you release the things that haven't worked out. This masculine energy really working on themselves, being enlightened by the sun, by Ra's energy, um, doing the work, overcoming the lower vibrations, more balanced and grounded now, solid in their love. I mean, wow. Take what resonates with you, but this is this is gorgeous, gorgeous energy coming your way when you allow yourself to release and heal. That's beautiful. Thank you, Sarada Devi. We honor you. And next, we are going to tune into Gaia, Mother Earth. Gaia, oh, Mother Earth, we love you so. so we're going to read the empowerment message from the Goddess Power Oracle. Being grounded, slowing down, and remaining present in your body is a message the Greek goddess Gaia has for you right now. Perhaps you've spent too much time in your head lately and have not taken as good a care of yourself as you would have liked. Get into the rhythm. Make sure you get enough sleep. Commit to spending more time in nature and eat sustainably with conscious awareness. Gaia, the earth, mother of all life, invites you to pay attention to your body, for you are a creature of the earth as well as spirit. You are a part of this living earth, which is the foundation for all of life that has a physical form. What form does your life take? This is a perfect time to take a closer look to ensure you're happy with it. You're also asked to examine the foundation of what you are building now. Does it feel solid and stable? Now is the perfect time to focus on stability and security, ensuring you move forward in a grounded way. The goddess Gaia reminds you that the earth is the playground for conscious manifestation. So be respectful of this truth. Wow, that's beautiful. So ground yourself. Get out in nature. It's a wonderful, beautiful, prosperous time to consciously manifest. And that goes back to like, what are you focused on? What are you thinking about? Because your mind is very powerful. So what are you focused on? Focused on what, focus on what you desire, reaching your goals, living in the energy like you already have it. You're being blessed right now. It's a very powerful time. I love this beautiful depiction of Gaia, of Earth. It's like pregnant with possibilities. You could be pregnant. Congratulations. Nurturing your inner child, nurturing your children, healing with your mother from the first message of Mother Mary. Growing so much spiritually, learning so much about yourself and about love. Because every time we experience pain and heartache and we have a wound, it opens us up to more love, to more gratitude, to more appreciation, to more growth. And there's something, an idea, a relationship, a situation, a job, creative project, something is coming to fullness where whatever you're giving birth to, it's happening soon. So get ready. It's time. It's almost time. Are you prepared? 
we're going to get some final messages from the spirit junkie oracle positive vibes for you my friendships support me nourish me and inspire me surround yourself with positive people enlightening people people that make you feel good that boost you that empower you and you can do the same for them beautiful friendships nurture them because you're nurturing yourself when you nurture your friends and when you love yourself from the beginning messages then you open up to these beautiful loving friendships I can forgive people quickly, release my resentment, and set myself free. Because, yes, that's what it's about. It's about setting yourself free, coming back to a place of love. Release it all. Forgive. Release judgment. Set yourself free today. It's safe for us to ask for help from other people. Okay, people want to support me. It's safe to ask for the help. Ask someone for help. Ask the angels for help. Ask your guides. Ask Source. Ask Mother Earth Gaia for support. And ask other people. Don't be afraid to do that. People want to support you. Remember that. They do. And it feels like with the first one, my friendship support me and nourish me. And you've got the two like kind of snakes coming together. Then there's the two birds coming together. Yeah, you're not alone and you don't have to do this alone. Like that's a big message here. When you ask, you will receive. When I see good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. Yes, give people compliments without expecting anything in return. Say something nice, be kind for no reason, smile, right? And when you see something good and you like something about someone and they say it out loud, acknowledge it, your words. Your love is powerful right now. And people desire that. It's so nurturing to hear it, right? My greatest experience of freedom comes when I let go of what others think of me. It does not matter what others think of you. Everybody is living in their own reality with their own perceptions from their own experiences. And it, it's time to let go. The only validation you need is from within. And when we're always worried about what other people think, we don't live in our true, authentic glory. As long as you're living with integrity and you're loving yourself and you're, and you're doing the best you can, it doesn't matter what other people say. Everybody's always going to have an opinion, right? Let it go. I seek out happy people who inspire me to be great. Yes. Surround yourself by people that are happy and joyful. And even when it's not a happy and joyful time, somehow, you know, you always come back to this place. You know, those people. And you're those people. You inspire others when you're happy. And it really is a choice. It really is a choice. And let's get one more here. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of the situation, only good will come. I am safe. Louise Hay. Yes, everything is working out for you. All is well. When things change, go with the flow of the change. Learn all you can, but don't fight it. Because when things end or don't work out the way you thought, it's for you. Because there's something on the other side of the change that's even better. You are safe. Find safety in the connection with the Divine Mother, with Mother Earth. Peace is coming to you. Love is yours. Growth is yours. Success is yours. Abundance is yours. Prosperity is yours. Beautiful connections are yours. People you can trust are yours. A solid path forward is yours. It's all yours. Allow yourself to receive it. I'm sending you all so much love.